Hello folks, well it's vacuum of the month time and right on cue comes Daisy wondering what I'm doing. I know I haven't had the camera out for a while, have I Daisy? So, yes, okay, sit there and look pretty. Now, confession, I am recording this a little before the 1st of May because I'll, I'll not be at home on the 1st of May. So uh, it's going to be a couple of days early that I'm telling you what I think of this and showing you what I'll be using in May for my vacuum of the month. It's been a bit of a up and down month. I haven't had a lot of time to use this machine. Half the month I've been ill. Ten days of the month I've been stopping at my mum's house. But I did actually take this Vax blade to my mum's and used it around her house a bit. But then I started using other vacuums that I had in in my mum's loft. But it's certainly better in my mum's house on the type of carpets she has. But it does actually work on my plush pile carpet. So um, I'll give it that. It works on the plush pile carpet, but not if you press boost. I never use boost. You don't need to use boost on this. Well, I haven't needed to use it. On boost, the brushes will just stall and cut out. What do I like about this? Not a lot, to be honest. If you saw the unboxing, you might remember that the little velour strip at the bottom of this head was peeling off and it continued to peel off. And if, if I'd continued to use it without noticing, I'm sure that this whole velour strip would have gone and been sucked up into the vacuum. So before using it at the start of the month, I did put a bit of super glue down here, which seems to have done the trick. But you can see here, it is used, a bit dirty. There's that must be my mum's hair, the long grey or very blonde hair is from my mum's house. And the brushes are looking quite grubby. So if you've got long hair and pets, this will end up getting wrapped around with hair. If I was to continue using this all the time, you'd have to have this out. This does come out, that's right, yes. You can use a coin and pull out the entire brush roll. The performance is pretty good, I have to say, and I think that's because it's the suction, which is fairly mediocre, but at least the suction is concentrated in quite a small area. This is quite a small head. It's not very wide and it's a narrow opening. So I suspect mine hasn't blocked up, but I suspect this would block up quite easily if you pick up anything too large. But you can see right through there, it's, it's, it's been okay with me. So just be careful what you're picking up. And as I said, bear in mind, if you've got long head pets, long head people, you will have to clean the brush roll. Um, I don't like it on hard floors. It's a bit scrapey. But the, as I say, what's going for the Vax is the performance. This head is very small and flimsy. If you compare it to the head of a shark cordless, they're a lot heavier, but they, they're more substantial and they don't sort of skip around. Um, and I've never found a shark, a shark cordless not to work on this particular carpet. Um, it's good on stairs. By taking off the wand, you can connect the head direct to the machine. And the actual width of the nozzle is about the width of a standard stair. So you can go over the stairs one way, flip it over, go over the stairs the other way. And it's pretty good. It's the brushes are quite dense and they're quite stiff, so it does bring up the pile, even on a fairly short pile carpet. You can see where it's been. So, yeah, it's the performance is okay. It's very, very top heavy, and even for a small time of use, short amount of use, it can it can get a bit tiring. So if you're if you've got arthritis or any sort of joint trouble or you're elderly and you can't really push a heavy vacuum, this is a lot of weight in the hand, really. Um, at least you don't have to keep your finger on a trigger to keep this cleaner operating because it just takes one touch and the cleaner turns on and will not turn off until either the battery runs out or you actually switch it off. So you've got the on off switch, you've got the brush roll on off button here so brush roll off for hard floors and you've got the boost button but as I say I've never used it never needed to use boost so um, 
the battery life it's hard to judge battery life really i've not really been timing it it's never run out for me but if you live in a very big house you might find the battery running out of charge before you finish the job but being the one power system you can buy a separate battery if you want to or if you've got another vax cleaner with one power batteries and that's fully charged you can swap them over chop and change it's fine and i do have other vax appliances with this battery so if it was to run out it would be fine this is fully charged so that's that so that's a plus point removable battery so what i like to see in a cordless machine is a removable battery i like to see a permanent on off switch so you're not squeezing a trigger and hurting your finger um but it's just eesh, it's just too heavy i haven't emptied it actually since i brought it back from my mum's house this is an improvement although it's still fiddly to get back on the first vax blade i showed on this channel the bin wasn't removable so you had to take the whole unit to the bin to empty it which was a bit bit of a faff so at least they made the bin removable and there was quite a lot of dirt this is mainly for my mum's house i was there only yesterday i came home yesterday evening but there yeah there's one thing about emptying this <coughs> try not to mm. i'm just getting over a cold and flu <coughs> so breathing in all this dust isn't helping um yeah i can shake the dirt out but you always get muck stuck around here so you always with this every time i've had to empty this i've had to put my hands in the dirty bin and try and remove the dirt and you can't get everything unless you take the the top off the filter out we'll look at the filter in a minute this hasn't been used continually for a month though i have to say I'll take the filter out, but we won't look at the filter yet. You can take out the, I think you can take this out. Yes, you can. And this is the only way of cleaning. So now the bin's empty. And now we can access the rest of the shroud and, you know, use a soft brush, use a damp cloth. It's a mess. It's a mess. You can see in there quite a lot of dirt built up I don't think it says you can in the instructions but I suppose you could rinse this through with water but you've got to make sure it's dry so I'd leave it at least 24 hours but if I was to tap it on the carpet here we can see quite a lot of dirt so you know as I said it works well when it works unfortunately unfortunately Vax well, certainly in my experience, the quality and quality control isn't great. I've had brand new Vax uh, appliances, open brand new, that have had faults. Uh, it doesn't happen often when I'm opening a brand new vacuum. Sometimes new vacuums will develop a fault, but it's rare that I would open a brand new factory sealed vacuum and find it faulty. And I have found that on several occasions with Vax products. They're not the best made machines. All I'll say to you, if you buy a Vax machine, make sure you register the guarantee, whatever the guarantee is, two, three, six years in some cases, make sure you register the guarantee with Vax and make sure you keep your proof of purchase. So you, if you need to get any after sale service, you've got that because I think Vax, from what I've read on Facebook comments, Vax will not honor many guarantees if there's anything wrong or you don't have the proof of purchase or they deem it's user error things not included in the guarantee would include filters brushes wear parts but anything to do with the motor i would say if this hose this clear hose if that splits i think they should send you out what they'll do they'll not send you out a new hose they'll just send you out a whole new motor head not very environmentally friendly far better to buy a brand that's reliable that will last many years it's the best thing you can do i think for the environment so yeah it's dirty but it's bagless show me a bagless vacuum that isn't dirty and i'll be very surprised so let's pop this back together let's have a look at the filter that's the clean side and that's the dirty side and that is less than a month's use 
So how often are you supposed to wash the filter? It says tap the filter and separator over a bin every four to six uses to remove dirt and debris. <laughs> now Vax is saying wash the filter every three months. I think I, if I was to use this machine on a regular basis for three months, that filter will be absolutely caked in muck. I think once a month, to be honest. As I said, I've used this vacuum as vacuum of the month for April, but it hasn't had exclusive use. I've used other machines in between and that's the dirt already. And I've not actually put down lots of dirt and picked it up in one go like I do in a demonstration. This is the result of normal household cleaning when you're just vacuuming carpets that don't necessarily look really dirty. You know, you might see the odd uh, particle on the carpet, you know, crumbs and fluff and, and bits on the carpet. There's a lot of hidden dirt as well, obviously. Um, so, yeah. So all in all, oh yes, yeah, so let's mention some other things. I basically only used this for cleaning ma mainly carpeted uh, floors and stairs. I seldom used it on a hard floor because I just didn't like its performance on a hard floor. As I said, this nozzle's very flimsy and small, not a very wide cleaning path. Um, I don't think I used, I didn't use this nozzle at all the dusting brush and yeah pretty sure I haven't used the crevice tool so it's just been used with this motorized head and even though I've had it a while it's still a bit fiddly to let's see if yeah well I managed it it doesn't seem very easy to put that back but I did manage it to fairly easily but if I was to use this as a duster it's far too big and heavy to use like this and you can attach of course the small nozzles on the end of the wand if you want to. Another nozzle I didn't use, I didn't like during the initial unboxing, is this mini, mini motorised pet tool. Um, it's the angle you have to use this that's very annoying. So it's not very well articulated, this mini motorised tool. And you have to hold the cleaner basically at this, this it can go you know to this angle, but it has to be held at least at this angle, which is not very comfortable. Well, it's totally unsuitable for the carpet. Oh, there's some bits on this uh, footstool actually. So you have to hold it, you know, the angle you have to hold this to keep the nozzle flat is awkward. So basically I've not used this nozzle at all and this is a pet version. The reason it's a pet version is it's because it comes with a mini motorized tool. I believe there are some Vax blade machines that come with a hose that's a powered hose. So you can attach a short hose to some models and the powered nozzle, which would make it, I think, easier because you've, you know, you've got the machine, you don't have to hold the on button and you can direct the nozzle at the end of a hose. So that would be better than trying to clean with that. So all in all, nah, I don't, I don't like it at all. Um, but I thought, I'd, you know, I didn't like it in the original unboxing, um, but I thought I'd give it the benefit of the doubt. I've used it a lot more, you know, for the month of April on and off and it's, a little better than I thought it was initially, but it's still one that I personally definitely wouldn't recommend. I'm just going to pick up the mess I've made, hopefully using the same cleaner, and I'm going to reveal what I'm going to be using for the month of May. Okay, folks, well, because I've been ill for half the month and away from home for 10 days, I haven't had the chance to really select 
a vacuum of the month that I really want to use. So the vacuum of the month I'm going to show you is just out of convenience. It just happens to be a machine I haven't unboxed yet. So I'm going to unbox the vacuum of the month now. Um, the fact it was easy to get at, it was in my bedroom, boxed, looking at me, waiting to be unboxed. So that's why I've chosen this particular vacuum. And some of you might be quite pleased with my choice. So I'm just going to, it's looking at me now. That's a clue. It's looking at me. I'm just going to go over to the other side of the living room, fetch it over and we'll unbox what I'm going to be using for the month of May. It's here folks. Here's a clue. What am I going to be showing you today? Well, it's a Hetty, but it's a Hetty with a difference. This is Hetty Turbo. Now Hetty Turbo isn't as widely available as say a standard Hetty, the Hetty Compact, but it is fairly easy to get hold of. It just seems to be selected retailers. I think uh, B&M sell it. I got this one from a seller on eBay, but you'll find it's not available from Argos. Argos do Hetty Pet, which is similar, but this is Hetty Turbo. You can also get Henry Turbo, exactly the same spec as Hetty, but of course in the red Henry colors. So I believe this is basically the same as a standard Hetty, a 160 sized Hetty, Hetty Compact, but it has the additional full sized turbo nozzle. Well, that's what I think anyway, pretty sure I'm correct. So let's open her up. I don't think we're gonna get any surprises inside here, but you never know. I've got some news, some exciting news for you about a brand new pneumatic cleaner coming up very soon. So I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. So we've got just a plain instruction book with uh, Hetty, Hetty Turbo. Yes, oh there's, a Hetty, oh, there's a Henry Turbo XL. I wonder what that one is, it says in this book here. So not even a color book anymore, just black and white pictures. But uh, they're fairly easy to use, aren't they, these machines? We've got, one year extra free warranty if you register it at myhenry.co.uk. So you can extend the two year warranty to three years, I believe it is. Yes, you get a one year extended warranty to go on top of the two year, you get a standard. So, yeah, where's my box cutter? Here it is. I don't like this nozzle, I've said before. Although, yeah, I think the last time I used it, it wasn't too bad. But this is the nozzle now supplied with the majority of pneumatic cleaners. Plastic base, two little wheels at the back. It certainly feels a lot lighter than the nozzle that went before it and the nozzle that went before that. You've got a foot operated switch, brushes up the carpet, press the pedal. You've got a brush coming down for hard floors and a squeegee at the back. Litter pickers either side of the nozzle opening. And on this you've also got the little bracket so you can park the nozzle at the back of Hetty. But I certainly won't be using that nozzle very much. I might use it on a hard floor. I'll be mainly, because my home is 90% carpeted, I'll mainly be using the full-sized aero brush. Let's open that out. So it's the newer version. Again, you've got the bracket here so you can park it on the back of Hetty. Two large wheels, two smaller wheels at the front. And that's your turbo nozzle. The turbo nozzle works on the airflow, the suction of Hetty. It doesn't have a little motor in it. It's powered by air. And if I open up this flap, we can see the little air turbine there that rotates with the suction and drives the brushes via a small toothed belt. So that'll certainly be easier to push over this plush pile carpet, easier than the standard suction nozzle. We've got a green bag, which will contain the small tools, so it'll be pretty standard.
Oh, well, I've never seen that before, look. Dear me, quality control. They must have been looking the other way when that passed. It's just a little bit of little flap of plastic left on there, but I'll pull it off. Just scrape that along. There we go. So that's your crevice nozzle. Not a bad length. Not, at least it's not a short and stubbly one like you get for some cleaners. Let's just move that out of the way. It's getting in the way. Ooh, delve into the bag. Oh dear. It's a bit distorted. A bit moth-eaten, isn't it? There's your dusting brush. I think that'll help sort itself out in use. Quite nice dusting brush. Good for your shelving, your Venetian blinds, your lampshades. Then we've got your furniture nozzle for your soft furnishings, sofas, stair carpeting, your car mats. And then you've got this slide on brush with brushes that are stiffer than the dusting brush. So it slides on, it's a bit stiff, it's new. You could use that on your car mats to give you a bit of extra agitation. There are a multitude of separate additional tools you can buy from myhenry.com to fit Hetty, Henry, all the pneumatics are pretty standard tools, the ones that take the 32 millimeter size. You can buy a small turbo brush, you can buy a flexible crevice tool, you can buy a long dusting brush that you can angle. Um, a reach kit with an extension hose that's good for cleaning the car and reaching up to the top of the stairs. So you can really extend the versatility of your Henry or Hetty cleaner or your Charles or your James. And the tools aren't too expensive. Uh, this little adapter piece enables you to connect any of the tools directly to the hose without using the curved wand piece, which handle piece, which I'll show you in a minute. So that's the small tools. Here is the curved handle. You can use it different ways. You can put the hose on that end or you can put the hose on that end, whether you're cleaning high. And it also, you can adjust slightly for the height of the person using it. And you've got the little suction control with a plus or minus. So turn it to minus to reduce suction when you're cleaning curtains and plus for full power. And especially when you're using the turbo nozzle, you want to make sure that that valve is closed. Then we've got two wands, two separate metal wands here, and then the hose, which is a decent length. It's tapered, so it's wider at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end. So this is, you can also clean just using this piece because it's angled. So you can take off the curved wand and just grab some dust in the corner just using this piece here but as I said this little adapter enables you to attach the small tools directly so that's good for car cleaning because it, it enables you to get under the seats a bit easier you can even attach the full-sized aero brush directly if you want to whatever you want to do so that's that so the hose I think that's all the tools we get one spare HEPA flow bag, always, as I say every time, always use genuine pneumatic HEPA flow bags. They're not expensive, they're widely available, they're strong, and um, they'll keep the dust in. If you use cheap generic paper or even some fabric bags, if they're not the gen genuine pneumatic bags, you might find they might burst or they might not give you the performance. So always, for the extra couple of pound, it's not worth the life of your Henry or Hetty to use inferior bags, I think anyway. It's up to you though, but that's what I would personally do. Use the genuine bags. Okay, well I think it's time. Hetty Turbo came out of the box. Here she is, basically looking just like a regular 160 Hetty, but we of course have Turbo written underneath. And Turbo, as I said, just refers, got the wrong nozzle, just refers to the aero brush. It's not turbo powered. This Hetty doesn't have extra suction to a regular Hetty. It's the same. They're the same motor, 620 watts. Well, here she is. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll see that I've unboxed and demonstrated many, many pneumatic cleaners. And there's not a lot to choose between a lot of them. 
This is a 160 model, which means it's the compact version. If you want the full-sized traditional Henry or Hetty, you need to look for a 200 version, and it'll have 200 in the model number. This has 160 in the model number. But they're basically all very similar when it comes to the main machine. Of course, you can upgrade with some machines like the Henry Allergy. That's ideal if you have allergies, if you suffer from hay fever or any other dust allergies. The Henry Allergy in the light blue, which I've shown you on my channel, has a much more superior filter to the standard one. So that is a good upgrade to go for. And of course, there are various pet versions you can buy with two or more, well, two or one turbo nozzle. Some have extra hard floor nozzles. But whatever Henry or Hetty or James, or whatever cleaner you buy, you can always upgrade them yourself by adding additional tools that don't come as standard. So basically, this is a basic Henry, Hetty, Henry, so I'm getting gender mixed, I'm getting gender confused. I'm sorry, I, I have been ill. You are, this is, I have to, this is a girl. This is a girl vacuum cleaner. She's called Hetty, she's pink, and she has lovely eyelashes. So this is a girl, and Henry is a boy. I'm not sure if there are any, any other types. They're either male or female in the world of Henry and Hetty. Maybe Pneumatic will introduce a different type. I don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned because I'm telling you about something very exciting. I can't show you what it is. I can tell you a bit about it. But uh, yeah, stay tuned till the end of the video. Anyway, here she is, 160 size, built-in carry handle to carry her up the stairs, a long 10 meter mains cable that pulls out. Oh, come on. Oh, that's exhausting. 10 meters of mains cable means you can plug Hetty into one socket outlet downstairs and for a lot of homes you can clean the whole downstairs without having to find another socket outlet. In some smaller homes you might even be able to clean upstairs with Hetty plugged in downstairs. So an extra long mains cable gives you that flexibility. Obviously Hetty's not cordless but she gives you mains powered performance and continual performance without a battery to run down. Hetty will clean for as long as you want her to clean for. Of course, we've got the switches here on the back of Hetty, a single speed on off switch, and this is your mains on light that will remain illuminated as long as Hetty is plugged in. Here's the rating sticker under the handle for anyone who's interested. So Hetty runs on 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 620 watt motor, serial number, and this particular Hetty is 2121 15531. I believe that means this Hetty was made in week 21 of 2021. We've got the address of Pneumatic International Limited. Of course, Hetty is made in the UK. And I know a lady doesn't like to reveal her weight, but Hetty is 7.5 kilograms. On the back of Hetty, we've got uh, tool storage for officially two of the cleaning tools but as I've shown you in previous videos it is possible to piggyback so we can carry all the tools at the same time just looking here it is looking for the adapter piece so what we can do is pop the adapter piece into the dusting brush and we can piggyback the upholstery nozzle on top of the Crevice tool. So there you go. In theory, it is possible to carry all the small tools with you. But personally, I prefer to use the two tools I use the most, which I think with Hetty, my particular tool usage would be mainly the crevice tool for your nooks and crannies and the dusting brush. I like to use a dusting brush, especially if you've got Venetian blinds and they do gather dust. And it's quite easy and quick to vacuum on a regular basis with a dusting brush. If you leave it too long, you have to use wet wipes or a damp cloth. So that's that. And then we've got the slot at the back here where we can park either the aero brush or the carpet and floor nozzle. So it'll just park there to keep Hetty all together if you've got her in a cupboard. She'll only store in a tall cupboard if you've got both wands attached, of course, and the hose attached to Hetty's nose. Let's take those off for now. Two large wheels at the back. 
and two swivel wheels at the front means Hetty will follow you around like the faithful little servant that she is. To remove Hetty's motor, got two clips, take the motor unit off, there you go, pretty standard motors underneath that grill. Then we've got the filter, the standard filter on this machine. This filter will stay pretty clean if you use the genuine bags. You can, in theory, use Hetty bagless, but that will mean this filter will get dirty very quickly and it's a, you have to clean it all the time. And it's not going to do Hetty's lungs any good, really, not using a bag. Well, the bag is Hetty's main lungs, followed by the filter. So it's best always to put a bag in, folks. So there we go, there's the bag fitted. Just pushes on. Het is a simple girl, but reliable. Put the bag in with the writing uppermost. Of course, when you take the bag out, you can close the top to stop dust spilling out. You'll always get a bit of dust spillage when you remove a bag, especially if you've let the bag get very full. So once the bag's in place, make sure the filter's in place. If the filter's not there, you'll get loss of suction. And then, Pop on Hetty's motor unit and you'll see at the back of the later machines there is a little groove so you can't put Hetty, Hetty's motor unit on the wrong way like you could with some older versions. I like to line it up just so. Is that it? Oh, nearly. Just tap Hetty's handles or catches either side to lock her motor in place. Let's switch her on, I've plugged her in. Well, she's got a good suck on her. She may be pretty, she may have lovely, lovely eyelashes, but she can certainly suck for England, can't you, Hetty? All right, let's get you Get your nose in position so you can smell as well as suck up the dirt. Now, I did have a comment. I have to mention this. I did I did put the comment up on my Facebook page, my iBasic Facebook, Facebook page, Facebook, Facebook. And uh, a viewer asked me if they could remove the face from the Henry Wash cleaner. They said, can you remove the face from Henry Wash? If so, will it still be watertight? And I said, well, yes, the face does come off. In fact, let's show you quickly on Hetty. You can remove the face if you don't want the face. Might be easier if I take Hetty's hat off. There is a knack to this. How do I? I've never really had need to remove the face. But it won't be for long, Hetty. Don't worry. I'll, I'll give you your face back. If I can work out how to do it. <laughs> there is a knack to it. In some countries, the face isn't attached and you have to fit it yourself. But certainly in the UK, I've always had the face. There we go. I don't like to do this, but I'm, I'm going to show you. In fact, the, ooh, your face doesn't want to come off. Oh, she's got sharp eyelashes. She has. Well, the face does normally come off quite easily. He says, well, Hetty's going to... <laughs> Hetty's making a liar of me, but normally the face comes off. I've shown you, I've shown you videos where I've taken the face off, and they look totally different. Right, I'm going to have to put that back. I'm not going to force it, but anyway, it is possible to remove the face. So I said to the uh, person, I think it was a lady, asking me the question. I said, "Yes, you can remove the face from Henry Wash. It's, he will still be watertight, but Henry will be blind. Do you really want that?" on your conscience. I haven't had a response. I'm not really sure why, personally, you would want to remove the face, but anyway. It's the face. The face is could be like the trademark of these types of machines. It's the face that makes them a little bit different, don't you think? And as I said before, whoever thought up the idea of putting a face on is a genius. And I think it stemmed from they were showing pneumatic cleaners at a trade show and someone on the stand just drew a face on just for a joke and people were requesting, I want the vacuum with a face, I want the vacuum with a face. So obviously 
they decided to make some with a face and initially it was stickers wasn't it just flat stickers and then a few years back they produced the 3d face that you can just take off but it used to be just stickers anyway i think hetty and i are going to be a good team for the month of may if you want to check out all the other pneumatic videos i have a playlist on my channel we'll give her a quick push over the carpet with the turbo nozzle and then i will report back on the first of june crikey where is the year going on the first of june i'll report back tell you how hetty and i got on and uh, i'll be introducing a new vacuum for the month of june but Hetty and I are going to be good pals, I think. So Hetty, shall we show the viewers a little bit of Hetty turbo action? Let's see how well your turbo nozzle, your aero brush works on my plush pile carpet. Well, it is a little bit hard to push on maximum suction, but this is a Saxony carpet and it's very problematic with many, many vacuums I've shown you. I'll just see what it's like. I'm just going to reduce Hetty's suction with the old suction uh, valve release. So I need to turn it to the minus. So it will allow some air into the tubes, which will reduce suction at the turbo end. I think Hetty will be fine in my home. It's only this Saxony carpet that I have trouble with. The rest of the carpets in my home are a very short pile. And I know that the turbo nozzle will run at full speed on all those carpets. As I said, for my hard floors, for my kitchen, my bathroom, and my ensuite, I'll be using the standard carpet and floor nozzle with the brush down. And of course, all the nooks and crannies, the stairs, maybe, even the car if i have time to do the car i can use the small accessories supplied with my hetty turbo so there she is that's vacuum of the month for the month of may before i go i've been promising to tell you a little snippet of news some of you might have seen the pictures i did share a picture of a brand new pneumatic machine on my facebook and instagram pages but within a few minutes of me sharing that picture, I was contacted by a pneumatic who asked me if I could remove it because they didn't really want to share details of the particular machine at this time. So of course I removed it for them. I didn't realize it was top secret because I did find the picture on the internet. And if you look, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But there is a brand new Henry Cleaner coming out, I believe, in a couple of months or so. I don't know the exact date, but it's a brand new category for pneumatic. It's a first for them. It's not a new machine. There are other cleaners available, other manufacturers making machines similar, but it's the very first time a Henry branded machine of this type is to be launched. And what I will say what makes it a bit different for most of them it's bagged so we're going to have a henry vacuum that's bagged but totally different from the standard henry cleaner or hetty cleaner that you know and love so stay tuned for that because pneumatic have asked me if i would be involved with their launch of this brand new machine so as soon as i get one and as soon as pneumatic say it's okay for me to show it You'll be seeing it on my channel, so that's something quite exciting, and I'm quite excited to see what this new machine is all about. 
So that's it. That's the end of Vacuum of the Month. A couple of days early for me, but you will be seeing this on the 1st of May. I hope you enjoyed your April. I hope it was better than mine. Let's hope May is a little bit uh, better for me and for everyone, actually. And I'm sure having a smiling pink vacuum following me around while I'm doing my cleaning won't do any harm to have a smiley, happy, hetty turbo. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe if you don't do so already. Thumb up and of course check out my playlists of many, many other vacuum cleaners and other floor care products I've shown on my channel. And if you're particularly interested in pneumatic machines, Henry, Hetty, Charles, George, Henry Wash, Henry Wet and Dry, all those machines, you'll see them on my channel because I have a pneumatic playlist. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Thank you, Hetty, for your premiere on my channel, sort of. Well, it's the first time you've seen a Hetty Turbo. Plenty of other Hetty's have shown up on my channel, but you'll be joining the many, many other pneumatic cleaners in my collection. So this really is the end I'm going now. I need to have a lie down. I'm still not quite recovered after my terrible illness. I thought I was going to be leaving you for a moment, but no, I'm back. And I'll be here showing you lots more in the near future. So until the next video, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.